Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video we're going to be continuing with our 100% detailed walkthrough uh, the Ringed City DLC for Dark Souls 3. This is going to be episode 4 which is going to be the penultimate episode. Today we're going to be doing the street bonfire uh, which is pretty much this big swamp down here and we're also going to be uh, finding the secret monument that Lap is looking for. So after last episode I decided to do the remaining episodes uh, with post commentary, I think it works slightly better than doing it live because I can relax when I'm recording it and then I can relax again and edit it a bit and fast forward some really pointless bits. So I think it's pretty good like this. So, uh, yeah, we, we are at the bonfire that we left off last episode and yeah, we're pretty much just going to go through the swamp. So we picked up the preacher's head, which is actually a mask, a pretty cool mask actually that we can put on, which is from these bugs right here. And that bug uh, was defending or guarding a twinkling titanite. Uh, just you wanna you wanna watch your back every now and then in the swamp because these guys can pretty much uh, they don't exactly spawn whenever they want, but they are are pretty much underneath the swamp and you can't really see them. They can you can just kind of see their little heads sticking out and yeah, sometimes they're really difficult to see. So whenever you can, whenever you got the chance, uh, just take a little peek behind you because if not. Uh, you will you'll probably get ambushed every now and then so yeah so once you took those out eventually we're gonna come across another one of the of the giant guys that spawn uh, the archers or the hammer guys and yeah you're you're gonna have to fight them eventually if you want all the items and yeah the main thing is to watch out and maybe try and try and wait until he spawns uh, a hammer guy that's your best bet uh, but also just watch out uh, when he can slap you with his own hands though when he does the low swipe It is also a very very good chance to attack him uh, You get a good opening there because when he does the, the low swipe where he puts his hand to the ground and then swipes About twice then he doesn't actually summon so he's gonna drop a hidden blessing and normally a titanite chunk It's gonna be another titanite chunk on this like shore just here and also on this piece of earth There's going to be a little ramp round back uh, against the building that we started in where the bonfire was and against this tower shrine whatever you want to call it we're going to have the ringed knight straight sword which is the one the ringed knight use and yeah if we jump down there we get back to the bonfire we're, we're going to encounter this npc again he pretty much says, says the same stuff uh, i actually tried talking to that guy with uh, the preacher's mask but it didn't change anything it would have been pretty cool if it did but yeah, so now we're just going to continue. We're going to come to this uh, half-sunken altar just here with the preacher's right arm. And yeah, there's going to be a whole load of preachers here, so just watch your back. Uh, the preacher's right arm, I believe, I've never actually used it, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's a, it's like a staff, so you can use spells and stuff like that. So once we've got rid of the last one, uh, there's going to be another item down here uh, in the center of the swamp and uh, there's going to be like this tower with a column that's you, that you can use as a ramp up to it. And though there's no items up there, there is going to be one of the miracle turtle guys which can get a 9 if you don't take him out. If you try and go up the ramp to the left without taking him out then he's going to be bothering you quite a bit. So you, it's worth coming up here and taking him out even though there's no items or anything like that. As you can see right here. And yeah, just jump off the edge and there's going to be a ramp right here. Another preacher. So annoying. Normally if if you can stagger them good enough. They actually have like a lot of health to be honest. But if you've got a big enough weapon you can stagger them long enough then they shouldn't be too hard. It's pretty hard to die against one of them if, it, if they're on their own. There's got to be like two or three of them if they want to actually kill you easily and spam you. But yeah, now we're just going to climb this hill. Watch out. There's like three of these guys up here. One's going to be to our right here near this item, which is actually it's actually going to be another, or it's a new crossbow. Or sorry, not a crossbow, a, a new bow, which is the white birch bow. And there's going to be another two over here near this titanite chunk. One just here, and the other one's going to be to our left. 
just hanging out uh, near this little ramp, so if you knock him down the ramp, then you can pretty much forget about him. And there we go. So, uh, it's up to you. You can you can go back down the other side. The ramp is literally... We're going to go back to the same swamp. So, I believe like even the first time I did the ramp, I did it from the other side. So, yeah. You can access the ramp either side, get the bow, and then come down whatever side you want. And I don't even believe you miss an item if you... If you come, come down like this side or whatever like there's no items below it the the next item is actually on this kind of monument or this obelisk or whatever you want to call it with a load of preachers around it i just don't do what i did here i got really impatient and just tried to grab the item once i killed this guy and yeah that nearly resulted in in death so you want to you want to take out all the preachers before trying to grab this item and it's only like rubbish, so you know it's up to you if you want to risk your life to get that. But uh, generally, you just want to wait and take out all the preachers. Uh, by the way, with this uh, grab attack, if you spam the buttons, I do believe it does help quite a bit. Right, so once you've finished with those guys, the next place we're going is to our left. We're going to find a building with a load of the miracle ton kind of turtle guys outside in there they're just praying they won't actually attack you unless you go in and pick the item up which are kind of like humming throwing knives pretty cool so yeah if you go in to be honest you get plenty of time to run away and yeah there's going to be an item behind this tree which is just a soul but um as i was going to say even if you just did decide to run away from the miracle guys and come all the way to the next guy which is actually a mini boss then once you get to this area they will stop attacking you like they won't keep spamming the miracles at you so yeah this is well you all know who this is from the uh, core game this is the dragon slayer armor and yeah he is pretty much exactly the same i believe he probably gets a bit less health than the actual boss uh, either that or i'm just really really overpowered but um yeah same moveset same everything well, obviously you don't have the dragon guy helping him out but a pretty cool battle. I didn't actually expect this uh, the first time, so yeah. And yeah, once you kill him, you will have uh, access to picking up his armor set, which is a pretty nice looking armor set. As you probably already know, don't forget to pick up the Titanite scale. So from here, what we're going to do is uh, just stick to the left hand side kind of cliff area where all the dirt is and the trees. And we're going to head for the big building that we've probably been seeing for the, for quite a while now, which looks very important. And to be honest, it's not actually that important, but yeah, we're going to head there anyway. Uh, if we go this path, we're going to find a something not that too important near this rock, I believe, which is yeah, just a tiny night chunk. So this building is going to be filled with these ringed knights and to be honest there's absolutely no point on taking them out so you can pretty much ignore them if you like uh, i do in this video because uh, just to save time we want to go down to the left hand side of the building and pick the black veil up which is a pretty looking a pretty cool looking veil and yeah from here you just want to go to the top side of the building uh, there's going to be a twinkling titanite maybe here yeah twinkling titanite and then you just want to hop off uh, to the right onto this rocky area. Uh, there's going to be a bridge to our left. Uh, that's actually going to be a bridge to advance. But first we're going to continue straight into this building just here. And this is actually going to be the building where the bonfire is. And this is going to open up a nice shortcut. There's going to be a wall to our left with a message that simply says show your humanity on it. And we're going to be doing that little riddle right now so this is the riddle that we need to solve if we want to get to the purging monument uh to tell lap where it is and also the purging monuments useful for something something else quite important that i'm going to be explaining a bit later on so to solve this riddle we're going to come back to the big swamp area you want to take this guy out uh, if you've rested at the bonfire then obviously he's going to be back alive and it's very important to take this guy out and you'll see why in a second so we're going to go over the swamp and we're going to use a white branch until we transform into humanity. 
Obviously, if we didn't take this uh, preacher out, then he would probably kill us, or not even kill, or not kill us, but he would take us out of our uh, humanity form. So yeah, so we're just gonna walk to the the message on the wall, dressed as a humanity, and yeah, we'll have this sneaky little ladder fall down. So we're gonna take this path. So be prepared. If you do decide to do this next battle, it's probably one of the hardest things on the DLC. Uh, but it is pretty easy to run past, but I'm going to be doing it anyway, uh, just to show you the little strategy I use for this battle. So as soon as you jump down, what you want to do is not get too close to this middle column. If you get too close to this middle column, you're going to aggro a giant that summons phantoms the other side of the column. And it's going to make your life a complete nightmare. So you're going to have to first fight a ringed knight with a straight sword, which isn't too bad. Uh, if you do take extremely long against this guy, uh, the another ring tonight with a spear will appear. So I recommend taking this guy out as fast as possible. But like I said, without getting too close to that middle column. And once you do take him out, you want to wait around here without getting close to that middle column. Until eventually to our right, a or the second ring tonight appear with the spear and this is the same one I was talking about if you take too long to kill the first one then you're going to obviously end up fighting two of them and that's not pretty and if you get close to that column you're going to fight two of them plus the bloody giant and whatever phantoms he decides to pull out so it's not a pretty combat this uh this is probably one of the worst rages I had on this DLC in this area I like you can pretty much just go up to the giant and run past him because there's actually not any items around this kind of area it's just all for the battle but you know I wanted to kind of prove it to myself I guess that I could kill them or well, not not in the walkthrough on the walkthrough it's so obviously I wanted to kill them but uh the first time round I'm talking about so yeah so here's the giant and you know same as the other giants you want to just make sure you keep an eye on what he summons and watch out for his arms and get as many hits in as possible. They don't have too much health, so it shouldn't be too hard. So, like always, a uh, hidden blessing or a divine blessing, and uh, two titanite chunks in this case. So, to continue, we need to go down those stairs, and as you can see, like I said, there's no items around here. This this whole big area is just for the battle, but uh, I think it's a lot easier if you don't even aggro the giant, to be honest. So, yeah, to continue, pretty much the only path we can take is down this ladder just here. So if we go to our left, we come to a dead end, but there's going to be a pretty cool item there, and uh, the, that item is going to be the dragon head shield, which is the one the the ringed the ringed knight with straight sword shoes. So yeah, and not too far from here, at the start of next episode, we're going to get the big shield from the speared ringed knight. So yeah, guys, this is the Persian monument. So you can request absolution, you can heal your curse and hollow. Later on we're going to get another option at the Persian Monument uh, that I'll explain next episode which is definitely going to be last episode. But uh, even if you don't heal your curse or anything like that, as long as you've activated it or as long as you've pressed X on it at least once, then uh, now if we go back to lap which is just here, uh, as you can see it's pretty much the ledge below us. We can go to the round room, the round pointless room, where we got the the gold serpent ring plus three, which is over here. And this time we can tell Lap where the monument is. So really this is just to follow his quest, which we've got one more step to do, which is going to be the next episode. And yeah guys, this is going to be the end of this episode from here. You can just teleport back to the bonfire I was resting at in the streets. And yeah guys, hopefully this episode was helpful. If it was, please go like and subscribe. Remember you can follow me on Twitter and we'll see you next time guys.